local Memphis Live. Earlier this hour, we got a chance to see the Visions of Soul exhibit at the Stax Museum. It's so cool. It is. And we're going back in to check now with Jeff Colleth, who is standing by live from the Stax Museum at Studio A. Jeff, explain what Studio A is all about. Sure. Uh, studio A is actually, at least for here in the museum, is a recreation of the original Studio A that existed in the Stax Records studio. Uh, for again, when the, when the, when the company uh, bought the old Capitol Theater in 1960 and then used it as its main studio for about a decade and a half. And what's really cool about this space is being an old theater that it has the sloped floor, um, which sort of by happenstance created this really great natural acoustic sound and really helped it create that sort of stacks, that gritty stack sound that everybody knows and loves. And so when we redid the museum and, 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 and opened in 2003, they basically built this space almost to spec and worked with Steve Cropper and some of the other former musicians to lay it out as if it were, as if it was, or as it was back when the studio was actually in use. So <clears throat> right now I'm standing next to the drum set of Al Jackson Jr., uh, one of the great drummers in, in all of music history. Al is no longer with us. Uh, he was the drummer for Booker T and the MGs and sort of the backbone of that really great stack sound. And then back here we have uh, the organ, Hammond organ for Booker T. Jones, uh, the, uh, also Booker T and the MGs, again, one of the core members of this great Stax rhythm section. And then one of the really great things about being in Memphis and being here at the Stax Museum is there are a number of musicians that are still here in the city that played at Stax. One of them is Wayne Jackson. This is his trumpet. He uh, was one half of the Memphis Horns, played on I don't know how many thousands of records. Um, Wayne is still around, and we see him at the museum every once in a while with his wife Amy, and they do a great service. They do tours for, for young people and really teach them about what happened here at Sax. And then the last two pieces are Steve Cropper's guitar and Donald Duck Dunn's bass. So really, we have the core of that great Stax sound. And what's exciting for us is that we're able to use this space to make music today. Um, we do a live in Studio A program that runs on Tuesdays when we're open free to Shelby County residents. Um, it'll come back on Tuesday, August 11th uh, with the Motel Mirrors with, uh, uh, featuring Amy LeVere and John Paul Keith, a really incredible local band. Um, they'll be here at 2 o'clock Tuesday, August 11th. That's free to all Shelby County residents and free with museum admission for our other guests. And then we'll be back again on August 25th with Memphis Jones, who's sort of a, a, great, uh, a great local musician, great local band, a staple on mm -hmm. Beale Street, a staple down at Graceland, and uh, it'll be great to have them here, too. Fantastic, Jeff. Well, thanks so much for giving us a behind-the-scenes look today. Studio A and, of course, the art exhibit was fantastic yes. as well. You have to go check those out. And for more information, head to our website, localmemphis.com. Go there, click on the green, find it button.